Well, it's December the 2nd, and you know what that means. Fish? No, I'm kidding. Um, it means door two. We've got salted caramel. This one I'm very hopeful for, because I've heard, so I love salted caramel. Uh, somewhere, I read on the back of this thing that somewhere in there, there is a coconut rum flavor in there, and I already know that's going to be good, but I don't know when it is, because they're all mixed up randomly in there. So, let's pop her up, take the candy cane from yesterday, and switch it out for this bad boy. But first, we need a mug and water to make this thing. And my mug's gone from over here. Wonderful. That's just, that's great. Ah, the dark side. Anyway, let me get water in here and put it in there in the machine and I'll show you when it's making. Salted caramel in the machine. Down. And now we wait. There she blows. All right, let's, let's give it a smell. Ooh, I could smell that caramel almost instantly when it started. Now it's salty caramel, so I'm assuming that we're also gonna get a salt smell. Or maybe that's just kind of wishful thinking. Um, but, I can definitely tell you that caramel is a much easier smell to pull off in coffee than peppermint. You kind of have to have a very strong peppermint flavor to overpower a roasted coffee smell. But caramel and coffee kind of go together. Very, they're very close to one another, so they kind of complement each other. So when you have a caramel coffee, it goes together. Peppermint coffee, you have to, they kind of fight each other, but caramel and coffee go together. I think, anyway. That's just my opinion. Don't listen to me or anything. Anyway, there we go. It's almost done. Perfect. Now, all I need to do is to put a couple of ice cubes in it so it's not burning my mouth, and then we'll give it a try. And now, we have the coffee. And... <laughs> a sneeze, as always. I don't know why I'm sneezing so much of this early in the morning. Well, it's not early. It's 10 a.m. So, not really that early. But I started yesterday off around the same time with a sneeze. Two, probably. Actually, almost three that didn't... The third one didn't quite make it out. But anyway, here we are. And salted caramel caramel, whichever you want to call it. Depends on where you're from, actually. Caramel, caramel. You see, now, it, what I said about caramel, caramel, um, mixing well, um, with coffee, was just demonstrated when I tasted that. Um, sort of the hot roasted coffee flavor goes with a hot caramel flavor very well. So while I gave yesterday, was it a an eight out of 10 or something? Salted caramel. 8.5 out of 10. Actually, no, 9 out of 10. Not the best coffee I've ever had. There's, there's, there is a coffee out there somewhere that I, I don't know the brand of it, but it reminds me of a, a happier time. It's a, uh, it's a K-cup coffee. It's French vanilla. It's not the one I have. I've been trying to find it for forever. Uh, when I was younger, I had a uh, a trip to uh, it was a it was a camp like a 
a family camp. You could go that is big facility and I would get up sometimes like six or seven in the morning, go down to the, the conference center or the, the office or whatever. The large, very large building would open at like 6 a.m. And so I walk down there when the doors open, go into the, the, the like lobby area and get a coffee, put it in a styrofoam cup and walk back to the camp area or at least I'd walk back to the fishing pond that was halfway in between, and me and my dad would fish there. And that was the best tasting coffee I've ever had, and I have not been able to find it. I'll find it one day, but that's the only 10 out of 10 coffee I've ever found. Some have gotten close. This um, cappuccino, this vanilla cappuccino, French vanilla cappuccino stuff, that's 9.5 out of 10 not quite a 10. The other, that one flavor is a 10, but I still have not found it yet. Anyway, uh, that's all, uh, for day two of the 25 days of Christmas coffee tasting, uh, eight, uh, nine out of 10 for this caramel and coffee. It goes well together.